the volume of alcohol that's been consumed um, over lockdown is it's horrendous, isn't it? It's a moment of national crisis. Some people might joke about their lockdown drinking, but having tackled addiction and mental health issues in the past, Rachel knew the large home poured glasses of gin were becoming a problem for her and got professional help. It is a really hard thing um, to recognise in yourself, really, and to, to admit to when you see everybody else doing it. If, if one person watching this looks at me and recognises some of themselves in me and then decides to pick up the phone and reach out and get help, then whatever backlash I get or criticism, it'll all have been worth it. Any more than 14 units of alcohol a week is classed as high-risk drinking. That's only around six large glasses of wine or six pints of beer. The Royal College of Psychiatrists says high-risk drinking doubled in lockdown and is calling on the government to invest more in addiction services. So there are many, many people out there, many people that I see, who it doesn't occur to them that they may actually be dependent on alcohol, but they are drinking every single day and they're, you know, they're drinking perhaps 10 units of alcohol or more a day and they are now physically dependent. You know that relaxed feeling after you've had a drink? The health warnings are there, but as lockdown made it harder than ever to listen. The government plans to introduce alcohol care teams into some hospitals and has pledged what it calls a new addiction strategy next year. You know, you need the services there to help people that are really struggling and you need to make our society better so we look after each other, especially after what has been an unprecedented traumatic event. We're not out of the COVID danger zone yet. It's a different path for everybody, but nobody should have to walk that path alone. Peter Lane, 5 News, Nottingham.